Hey, Moonies and nerds and geeks. Uh, I'm back for another video already because my excitement was just way too much to contain. That's why you're getting it from the car. Uh, Said I wasn't going to go and get this, but I did. I had to. It was uh, super hard to find. Uh, it was all the way on the other side of San Antonio, another side of San Antonio that I did not go to on my tour of San Antonio, but I was able to snag one. I actually had found two, and um, when I called this morning, one was already sold, so I immediately called the other store, which was all the way over off of North west military or was it southwest i don't know <laughs> but they had one it was literally the last one in san antonio in fact it was like the last one within a hundred plus mile radius oh wow that was really hard to get out of there but here it is and i am beyond pleased this is beautiful now i don't know which one i like better i'm gonna do a review when I get home but I just had to show this off the difference in this cup is they're fully colored Sailor Scouts the other ones had an artistic abstract coloring to them where their skin tones and hair tones were completely removed it's unique so I can't wait to do the comparison video uh, and peace out for now all right, Moonies, we're back. So here is the new teacup, once again, in the box, which um, I really like. I think the box is really important. You know, I mean, this one is fine just the way it is, but sometimes it's nice to have something to display it in. It keeps it protected, and it just goes really nice with the cup inside. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one back out real fast, and then that way we can do our comparisons. Uh, I hope there's enough light out here. I'm doing this outside to make sure that you can see the cups really good. Oh, wow, it just really likes to hold on to this, this cardboard. Alright, so let's start with the GameStop one since that's what we're focused on right in here at the moment. So now that we're back out at the house, I can click on this. We can focus in on it, I'm hoping. Um, come on. Anyways, all right, so there we go. So you can see, actually, let's do them together. That's the best way. Hello, comparison. So here are the two different mugs. Now, well, if I'm looking at them... They look, sorry, it took a second there. I had to really study it. They look like the color one is a little bit larger, but we actually, upon closer inspection, they're not. Uh, it's the display is a little bit differently done. Uh, it's exactly the same display. It's just some spacings done differently. So it, one looks, these ones are a little uh, further apart, so they look a little bit smaller. These ones are closer to each other, so she looks a little, they look bigger. Anyways, um, uh, very beautiful. I, I actually, I'm still torn. I still think I like this one. I just really like the artistic take on it. Um, not that this one doesn't pop, but let's turn here. Let's check out Mars and the sheen, the iridescence on both of them, as you can see, is the same. It's pretty much equally the same. I mean, you can definitely tell. Uh, the licensing, uh, <clears throat> the licensing uh, that was paid by the two different companies um, were, was done in, in some type of deal because these are obviously made exactly out of the same exact machine and same factory. Here's Venus. Now something I do like, I like how these colors are a little more true. I, I don't know how this would look if it was still in this style but with this color of orange and this color of blue as opposed to these these more basic Pantone colors here 
I don't know. I'm looking at it in person. This one is really nice. I really do like this one. Miss Jupiter. She is great. She is uh, pretty vibrant on here, I would say. I mean, in here, these ones all blend in very nicely. They're all the same hue and tone. Um, but on this cup, Jupiter and Mercury really pop in person. All right, so let's keep turning. Here we go. Here's Miss Mercury. And I think a lot of the differencing is in in what makes it one look a little bit. Well, now see, she looks pretty much the same size. Maybe it was just that first image. So yeah, there they are. Um, upon closer inspection, I think they're both fantastic. The quality is really good in the transfer. Um, I mean, these definitely uh, are suggested on the box, wash by hand. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about it. The GameStop one was about $13. And the box lunch one is $17, but you can get it on sale right now. I think they'll still honor the drinkware discount, which is which is what the 35% was that they honored in the store. I had misspoke in the last video. The store-wide discount was the 30%, which they still honored on the Winnie the Pooh shirt. So I got out of there with a, a really good deal on that so yeah here's the mugs um the pinks inside are pretty much the same and yeah i really enjoy them i think these are great oh you know what i wonder the way the bottoms of these are shaped do they stack what oh my god are you kidding me oh my gosh they stack they stack this makes me want to buy more. This makes me want to make like a set for like when guests come over. Everybody gets a Sailor Moon teacup. What? Oh. oh. Now I'm going to be like traveling. Well, you know what? I could just buy a bunch off of Box Lunch because they make it easy to get the cup. The GameStop cup is a pain in the butt. There, like I said, there was one within like a hundred plus mile radius. I think the next closest one was in Austin, and I'm sure it's gone. Really? This? Oh, I just love it. Hold on, let's put moons. Moon on for the moon. <laughs> it's like an eclipse. I love it. All right, well, bye, guys. I almost paused the video without saying goodbye. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And remember, uh, fully colored GameStop, artistic take, box lunch. Uh, and there is a substantial price difference, but you can get them both on sale right now. Bye.